Hi everyone, welcome to Matt's Tech Tips, the email series about utilizing technology to be more efficient and productive in your ERA business. This week's tip is a simple way to throw together a list of all the files that you've collected from a client. When we start a new project, we receive a lot of new data from the client. Sometimes we collect it ourselves, sometimes the client will send it to you via email, or maybe they'll share you a Dropbox link with you with a folder full of all the files. In any case, we end up with a large list of files typically, and if you're like me, your first task is to sort through the files and determine what you have received, but more importantly, what you're missing from the data. So let's jump right in. So to start, you're going to want to navigate to the folder that has all of the files that you're looking to create a list from. So here I have a large list of files that I've received from a client. And I suggest starting off by sorting the files in whatever way makes most sense to you. Uh, it could be by name, date modified, the size of the file, or the type. So I'm going to sort mine by the type of files. So now I have all my PDFs, my Excel files, and my Word documents all grouped together. Now the next step is to select all of the files in the folder. So when you collect a single file, you're selecting that file. To select all of them, you want to select a single file and hit Control A. That's going to select every file that's in that folder. And the next step is the secret step. So if you were to right click on a file right now, you'd get the standard options. You get cut, copy, delete, those sorts of things. But what we, we want is a non-standard option. Uh, so to get to that, you're going to want to have all the files selected. And you're going to want to hold Alt, then Shift, and then right click on a file. So what that's going to do is open up a new menu with a new option, Copy as Path. This option will copy the full file path of the file that you have selected. In this case, we have all the files selected. So you want to select Copy as Path, and once you do that, you're going to want to jump over to a new sheet in Microsoft Excel. Select a cell and paste what you have copied. Now you're going to see that you've got all of the files pasted and their full path um, where they're at on your PC. This by itself is pretty ugly and you, the list isn't really usable. So what we're going to do is get rid of everything except for the file name, which is what we're interested in. So from there, you want to select the column that has all of your data in it. You're going to want to go to the Data tab and then click Text to Columns. In the first screen that pops up here, you're going to want to select Delimited. Um, you'll notice that we have a backslash separating each little section of our um, file path. That's what we want to separate the data based on. So select Delimited, click Next, then you're going to select Other, and you're going to make sure that a backslash is entered in this uh, input cell here. Then you're going to click Finish. And what Excel is going to do is going to split up all the text from that file path based on those backslashes. So we're only interested now in the very last column of data. Uh, so we can just get rid of or hide these uh, first columns here. Or just delete all the stuff out of it. So what you have now is a full list of all of the files that were in that folder just the file names with the file extension on the end of it. So whether it's a .pdf, uh, a .excel file, .doc, however it is. Um, so you can use this list for a variety of things. Uh, if you just want to copy it over to a tracking document in Word or OneNote, something like that. Um, what I use it for quite often is to uh, take this list, put it into an email, and send that back to the client just to give them an idea of what we have received from them and what we're still missing in terms of the files that they need to send us. Um, so I hope this tip becomes useful for you guys, and until next time, thanks.